Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am vlogging because I've gotten some news recently. Just two days ago, I found out that my district would be starting online and we're gonna stay online for the entire first semester, which is through the end of January. I have very mixed feelings. Obviously, I am happy that students and staff will be safe, but at the same time, I'm sad because that means I won't get to be with my students in person until February, hopefully February. At the same time though, I realize there's nothing I can do about it, so I need to just embrace it. And that brings us to today's vlog. <laughs> I am going to be creating a small classroom space here at home. Now, in full transparency, in the spring, I opted not to create a classroom space at home. I didn't put anything up on my walls, and partially that's because we were getting decisions two weeks at a time, and I didn't know how long it was going to last. Plus, it was the end of the school year, let's be honest, I was exhausted, especially after having to transition to online. But with the fall, knowing that we are going to be online through the end of January, I said, I have to do it. So I got Billy's permission to kind of rearrange the office. <laughs> we are gonna start by running out to Target and Michael's. I need to get like a dry erase board and some bulletin board border and all that fun stuff. So let's go. just a mini haul to kind of show you all what I got. I tried not to go overboard, but I also have not been out spending money for like months now. So I did end up getting this dry erase board. This was a non-negotiable for me. The number one thing I need to teach from home is a whiteboard and I was using, well, hello Luna. I was using not even a whiteboard. I was using basically a piece of paper and a sheet protector in the spring. So I definitely wanted a whiteboard. Now this is 23 inches by 35 inches. So basically two feet by three feet. This came from Target. Honestly, it was only $17.99, which I thought was a really good price. We're not doing that. We're vlogging. We're not playing with the plastic bags. <laughs> Very happy with that purchase. Let me move it out of the way. Next, this cart. So this is the Hudson cart from Michaels. And I actually have a smaller version of this in my classroom. It's not as wide as this one. But here was my thinking. This is a place where I could store any teaching supplies I'm using and I can have it over by the desk where I'm working and then at the end of the day, I can wheel it away and put it somewhere else because Billy still uses our desk. He's in grad school and I wanna make sure that I'm respectful of his space as well. So I thought this would be a good solution for that. Now it was a little bit pricey, it was like $49.99, so $50, but Michael's right now is doing a sale Probably not by the time this video goes up, but regardless, with your teacher discount, you can always get 15% off. That was a little bit of a splurge, but I think it will be a good choice, and this is something I can reuse in a lot of different ways. Okay, next I have some bulletin board paper. This is the Fadeless paper, also from Michaels. This is the color Azure, and I just like that it's a nice bright blue, kind of tealy color, and I definitely wanna bring in some color. You all know I love black and white, but if I'm gonna have this in my background when I'm recording videos for my students or meeting with them live, I wanna have some color. So I got this and it's four feet by 12 feet. I'm not gonna use all of it, so I'll be able to keep some of it. Also at Michael's, I got this little magnetic pocket. It's just kind of small. I thought this might be nice to stick on my whiteboard because it is magnetic and I could use it to store some of the materials that I'm using. And then I got two of these green bins. These are part of the Creatology like line that they have at Michaels. I previously showed these in my Organizing My Classroom Library video as book bins, but I think my plan is to put them in here to help keep stuff organized. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I ended up going to Big Lots. I didn't record anything because I didn't expect to find anything, but I did get some of these little flexible bins um, in a couple different sizes. So this is like the big rectangle size. This was a two pack. Then there is the smaller rectangle size and this was a three pack. And then there was this like long narrow one also in a three pack. I got these 
with a couple different things in mind. I do have some drawers on my desk, which I will show you when I go up there. I thought these might, might be able to be used to organize that space. However, they might not fit. So my backup plan is to use them to help organize <laughs> this as well. And then Target. So I did end up getting some bulletin board border. I found this actually in the Target dollar spot. So it was only $1. And I really like that it's reversible. So there are the yellow light bulbs, but then also the black and white. I think I'm just going to use the black and white, but I got two packs of those. I also got some bulletin board letters and I got some capital ones that are in black and I got some lowercase ones that are in white. I kind of want to mix and match, but I also don't know exactly what I'm going to use them for yet, but I got them anyway. <laughs> Then I got some command hooks because Billy and I are renting, we cannot put any holes in the wall. So I plan on hanging the dry erase board with these large pairs because they will hold up to 16 pounds, which should be more than enough. And then I also got some of these hook ones because I figured I could use these on the bulletin board paper and I could hang some dry erase pockets, which I also got <laughs> at Target. I have some at school, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back in my classroom. And I feel like dry erase pockets are something I always need more of because eventually they do start to rip and tear. So I didn't mind spending a little bit. I got four of the black ones. These would be great to use up on the bulletin board I create on my wall because any like little anchor chart type poster that I make, I can slip it in here and then easily change it out. And then I got one of each of their other colors. So uh, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And the last thing I got there were just some magnetic expo markers. And I got these because they will stick onto the dry erase board. So that being said, let's head upstairs. I'm going to show you the before. And then I think my plan is to start moving furniture first so I can make sure I get that where I want it before I start hanging stuff on the walls. So this is the before shot. If you all have been around for a long time, you all might recognize this room. I actually used to film right here, but the room is small. I know it may not seem that way on camera. Cameras always have a tendency to kind of distort things, but there wasn't really enough space to get depth with my camera. So we transformed this into an office. So we have our printer. We do have a TV in here. This little organizer has some colored paper and cardstock, a little lamp. I printed these off. It, one says inhale confidence, exhale doubt. The other one says work hard, stay humble. We have this chair because typically Billy would be working over here at the actual desk. And then I would sit here on my laptop and then we would put something on in the background. And yeah, that's about it. So, um, Luna, really. Desk is super messy. I promise I will fix that today. Here is kind of my plan. I really wanna use this wall as my new like classroom wall because it's the biggest wall in the room. My thought is to take this desk and kind of rotate it clockwise so that it starts here and kind of comes across here and then my stuff will all be in the background. I wanna take this desk and move it over onto this wall and then I had that little rolly cart. My thought is I can have it behind the desk and at the end of the day, I can wheel it and store it over here so it's not too much in the way. Ideally, when you are doing any kind of video conference, you want the light to be coming toward you. So you wanna be facing the window. You don't want the window in the background. The way this is right now is awful. <laughs> Whenever I have like Skype calls with Bridget, I'm like a black just silhouette because the lighting is coming in from the background. But I think moving it to the side, it should be okay. And if I need to, I can supplement from light on this side so there aren't too many shadows. So first steps first, I need to kind of clear off the desk. Luna, is it bath time? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and start moving furniture around. Okay, furniture has been successfully moved. I think I like it. I mean, I don't know. I've got, I feel like 
Uh, it's going to take some getting used to, but I like that I at least have enough space, hi Luna, <laughs> to walk. I can get to the printer, I can get into the closet, so I don't feel like any one area is too cut off. And then I do feel like I have a lot of space behind the desk, which I think is important because if I'm going to be writing on a whiteboard, I need to make sure I have enough space. So I think the plan now is to go downstairs. I'm going to get the bulletin board material and start setting up. So the first step is kind of laying out my border to figure out what the size is going to be. With the way this border is, the edges are not straight, they're curved. And so my thinking was I could kind of overlap these pieces and I'll probably trim that little bit of white so that it looks like the line connects or maybe I'll just take a black sharpie and connect it. I think that'll be easier. So the way I've measured it out with two of these on the side but then also having these end pieces, I need it to be about 35 inches this way which will match what the bulletin board is and then side to side it's going to be I think 31 inches so I need to cut this paper to be that size. the progress so far I kind of got excited and put these dry erase pockets up without filming but so far I mean I'm liking it I I don't know it's coming together I definitely want to put I think some text up at the top of the bulletin board and then maybe something up above it probably won't end up on camera most days but just to have it there is everything perfectly straight no but it's okay it's not the end of the world I'm trying to let it go but so far so good I'm happy with it Target again don't ask me how that happened but I got these string lights because I have this vision of putting the string lights around all of this as a border like including the whiteboard just around the whole thing so we're gonna try that and I got these command hooks so they're very similar to the other ones but instead of metal they're plastic my thought is I should be able to hang them with this but you know what we're just gonna try it and figure out if it works I think I'm officially done. I know I will make changes once the school year actually starts, but for now, I'm super excited. I love it. Let me show it to you all. So when you walk in the door, I have the extra chair and ottoman, the drawers of paper, my printer and TV. And then in these drawers is where we keep like paper and cardstock. So this one has regular printer paper, cardstock, and then the other drawer has extras. We have the closet. And then here is the desktop area. So first of all, because I will probably get asked, <laughs> this desk is the Alex desk, I think, from Ikea, but I will link it for you. This desk also came from Ikea and then this little top piece with the two drawers is like an add-on piece So it just kind of sits on top of the desk. I have this black and white globe, which I got from Target probably two years ago My pen caddy, which is also from Target, but I don't think they carry it anymore We have our computer and then I just have a little fake plant and then let me show you the classroom area which I'm really really liking so the lights worked out for the most part. It was a little bit short, which I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. So what I did is back here, I went ahead and plugged in a 
what's this called, a surge protector into the wall and just ran it back behind here. And then I have it sitting here so that the lights can plug in. And I don't think you'll really be able to tell. Technically there's no lights in this little section, but I think it will be fine. For now I have the cart here, but what I love is that I can actually turn it and fit it this way across, or I can grab it, move it, over in this area. So I have a lot of options with it, but obviously when the lights are plugged in, it will need to stay there. I have my little bulletin board area and I ended up putting three things of page protectors on here or like dry erase pockets. Those are going to be used to display whatever like masks we are on. So these are different notes pages that I've created. And for now I just printed them out because I know these are the first three that we use. And then I have my dry erase board, which I really like. I think this will be the perfect size for me at home. And then in the cart for now, I just kind of have like a notebook because I'm always grabbing a notebook, my iPad, and then some sticky notes, some whiteout and some dry erase markers, but I will definitely end up adding to it. I plan on using the bottom two shelves for a lot of math manipulatives and things, but I'm hoping I can get into my classroom in order to get those. So here is, I'll give you one last little kind of 360. So this is when you walk in the room, desk area, printer and TV area and chair. So that is it. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it out with your teacher friends who might also be teaching online. I do wanna make it clear though, this is by no means a necessity. <laughs> I did it because it's something that I wanted to do. It's something that brought me joy. I know personally, I love to have a functional space that makes me feel excited. And this definitely did that. I know that when I walk in this room, I'm going to be ready to teach. But if the thought of this is overwhelming or stressful to you, you do not have to do it. If you don't have the space, if you don't have the money, if you don't have the time, I totally get it, okay? That was me in the spring. I didn't wanna do it in the spring and I did it. And that didn't make me any more or less of an effective teacher just because of the space or the decorations that I put on the wall. That has nothing to do with your teaching ability. So if this is something that excites you, great, do it. If it causes you stress, don't do it. It's not going to affect your ability as a teacher. Now I would love for you all to leave comments down below to let me know what do you want to see from me. Obviously I'm going to be teaching online and I feel like a lot of you are going to be in that same boat. So if there are specific videos you want to see, please leave a comment and let me know because I definitely want to help you all out as much as I can. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I'll catch you in the next one.